Bruce, because that's a bit of a wall, I should just point that stage box as much. Happy Friday, Print Fam. If you're new, I'm Cam. Welcome to the Print Life. It's Friday, so I'm going to be exercising the pectorals today. My gym is literally in Chase Field. I'm done. I mailed it in. Forget him next week. Oh, oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay. When you're making your way through a crosswalk, uh, put a little speed in it. The people in cars got to be somewhere just as bad as you do. Don't make them wait because you're a lazy, slow piece of shit. All right, if you're wondering what happened in yesterday's vlog, I'm going to show you right now. There was a bunch of spots that I thought were cleared out, but they weren't, and it's close to the edge. Uh, so it's, it's done, and I'm not going to take the time to set up a new one. The uh, ink that I'm using isn't dense enough. I was just using a traditional ink, and it would, like, squish out. And the reason I got so cheesed off is because I spent, like, three days setting it up only to have it not work. Uh, and the thing that didn't work isn't what I was expecting because the air bubbles actually made this really cool splatter effect, so I wasn't mad at those. But the thing that I wasn't expecting to happen happened because it didn't cross my mind. Yeah, I started doing a little research. Oh, let me fix this right around the time that I made the screen, so on Tuesday, on different emulsion options for making high density screens, because I've only done it a handful of times, just for fun. And uh, the first couple times it worked out fine, but this time it was a complete failure. So in my research, I did find a high solids emulsion that is designed for creating super thick stencils, just with a few passes. I don't even think you need to make the dam like I did. So I'm gonna buy some of that and pick up the high density thing uh, in the next couple of weeks. The job that I started this week, I'm just gonna make a solid pink screen. It's not gonna have any high density in it, and I'm just gonna run with that. The more people that have eyes on it, yeah. I'm gonna tear down the, I'm gonna go out and tear down the screens that we're not gonna use. Yeah. Film's done. I combined the high density train wreck with the half tone. Gonna throw it on a 280. Be done with this project. I was just bragging to Alex that as of today, well, once this video is uploaded, I think I'll have officially. Or no, I will have done. Uh, motherfucker. Seven days of uploading one video per day consecutively. So, I'm on a good run. I know we were just talking about how sick it would be to be one of those YouTube stars that does a video a day and every video that they upload makes them like $100,000. And then Alex is like, well, doesn't that not exist anymore? And I was like, yeah, not anymore, but it, it used to. And then we were saying how, if you were smart, that would have set you up for life. But, and then most of the kids probably weren't that smart. Let's finish this thing. Screen's drying, and I want to say happy Friday to everybody. In case I didn't do it earlier, which I might have. Who out of all you screen print shop owners that have employees find it funny that Friday is your workers' most favorite day of the week? And correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're the employer, it's your least favorite day of the week. Who else is with me on that? And why? Let me know in the comments. The best news is when I have to quote a live event, and those quotes just keep rolling in. So I'm, so I'm filling the pipeline. Got all kinds of estimates out on events all across the country. Now we just gotta wait for them to start hitting and getting approved, and then we'll really start cruising on that thing. Uh, two things. The first thing is that I've become acutely aware of the amount of time I've been spending 
thinking about marketing my YouTube channel and how little time I'm thinking about marketing my screen printing shop, which is the thing that actually generates revenue for me. So that's a little bit crazy. But that leads into the second thing, which is I thought of something I want to do to maybe hopefully increase my social reach. I need the print fam to help me out with this. This is what I'm thinking we do. Of course hit subscribe and then you know the whole thing where you ding the bell so that you get notifications whenever I make a new upload. Here's where it's going to change. Once you've turned on notifications, in the comments, let me know that you turned on notifications. And then in that same comment, I want you to uh, share your Instagram handle with me. And as long as you're already following me at Cam Urban on Instagram, I'll follow you back. Only doing it for this video. So let's try it out and see if this uh, maybe helps all of us grow together. Let's start setting that up. So now I'm going to set the screen up that I was working on yesterday. But you gotta heat them up. Have you been heating them as you're using them? Okay. All right, guys. I got the. I'm tired of talking about this job. Last screen set up. I'm gonna do a sample when Jesse's done at the end of the day. Until then, I'm done with this fucking thing. Guys, it is so Friday. Problems after problems after problems after laid back, and then you lay back, and then you got problems, and you got problems, and you got problems. It's Friday. I feel like especially in the screen printing industry, Fridays are worse than Mondays because on Fridays everyone's, everyone forgot to place their order throughout the week so now they're scrambling last minute and then everyone's trying to blame it on you because they forgot to place the order but now it's your fault and Fridays in the printing industry suck. But that's okay. You know why? Because we're professionals and we take our work seriously. All of us. That means you too. The print fam. We work hard, we play hard, and all of our customers love us. Unless they don't. All right, all my Friday stuff is done. I entered all my bills into QuickBooks. Uh, paychecks are cut. And now I just wait to close it down so I can go set that up and see how the final print looks. Uh, I mean, it's not the high density one, so I'm not that excited about it anymore. density I had to scrap that and here's the plan I'm not sure what the contest is gonna be but there's gonna be some kind of contest next week and the top 12 or 24 winners are gonna get one of these sent out in whatever size they need uh, on the anvil 780 I'm gonna leave it up on press that way I can just print to order everybody have a wonderful weekend thank you for tuning in and watching all my videos uh, all the support you give me is hugely appreciated all I ask is that you watch every video I upload. If you're subscribed, please watch the videos. I got 2,000 subs right now, so in my mind that's, that would mean 2,000 views per upload, but that's just not the case for some reason. So make sure you've turned on notifications, and you saw my thing earlier. If you turn notes on, comment, put your Instagram handle, and I'll be following everybody who posts on this video only, in the comments on this video. Thank you so much for watching throughout the week. Like, subscribe, share, ding the bell so you're notified when I upload. And stay awesome, Print Fam. Peace out.